and talk about how we are um, really today in an epidemic of scabies in this country. As a homeopathic practitioner for the last 25 years, I've come into contact with literally hundreds, if not a thousand people who have scabies and are suffering with some form of human mite, uh, whether it be Morgellons or uh, bird mites, rat mites, you name it. But the number one thing people want to know is, first of all, you've got the symptoms of it, you've got you know, rash, you've got itching, of course that could be anything uh, from hives to mosquito bites, but there's very specific things that you should be looking for with scabies, and that is, um, first of all, in the, in the folds of the skin, you should start to see uh, burrows, um, lines, you know, that are, that are running along, they're raised and red. Um, you will see dots, uh, individual red dots, um, almost pimple-like, but they could, you know, be fairly small. Um, and then just the intense itching that comes along with it. Um, certainly you can Google those images and pictures and, and take a look for yourself and know what the other symptoms are, but that in general is, is what uh, happens with scabies. Um, I think what I'd like to share with you today is some knowledge that I've gained over uh, the last few years regarding testing yourself um, for scabies. And if you have a few simple things around the house or if you can borrow some things from some friends of yours or a school, it may save you a lot of time. Uh, I, of course, as a homeopathic practitioner, I always encourage people to go to the doctor first to get a diagnosis. Um, on the other hand, if it's like my dermatologist, it can take upwards of a month or more to get in to see one. And it, you don't have a month when you have scabies or you think you do. You really want to know as soon as possible. So there are a few things uh, that, that I can recommend. They're relatively simple. You may or may not, it may be hit or miss, may or may not have success with it. Um, but one is taking simple, simple mineral oil um, available from your drugstore. Um, it doesn't require a, a large amount, so you, you don't even need a, one this size. Um, you could pick some of that up. Um, if you don't have mineral oil, you could use another, uh, any other type of oil, household oil. I think mineral oil is more, um, is a little bit thinner than some household oils like uh, olive oil, but it, let's just say you could use any of those oils if you like, but mineral oil is recommended just because of the viscosity is a little bit thinner. Um, the other thing is if you have a stamp or stamp pad around, you may choose to uh, uh, use this and we can do kind of an, an ink blotter type test across the scabies lesion in order to test it. This um, it can be a fairly productive method and you'll use all of these together. Um, but first and foremost, you really need to have access to a microscope. Um, scabies, contrary to popular belief, are very small. You cannot see them with the, with the human eye. You will need a 30 to 45 um, magnification power microscope uh, or more to be able to see them, but that's generally 30 power is fine. Um, and there are some, you know, I, because I have my own laboratory and things like that, I have my own um, I have my own microscope here. Actually, this can connect up to the computer where we can uh, be able to um, actually see the images over a computer without having to peer through the, the hole for hours on end. And so um, these uh, are available online. You certainly could get them off of Amazon or any microscope store online. Um, you're talking minimum of 150 to, you know, upwards of thousands of dollars. This unit here is probably somewhere around $400 um, to, to pick up. Um, the other option available, which is a much more inexpensive option, is to be able to get a mini microscope off of, um, for instance, you know, eBay or Amazon or in, anywhere off the internet, or you may even be able to go to a local hobby store to, to pick one of these up. You just need to make sure that it is 30 to 45x or magnification. And I prefer that they be lighted. This one has a light on it. You can just peer right through and be able to take a look at the, um, the situation there. Um, very quickly, I'll run you th through this. You can take, again, a, an, an ink blotter. If you, if you have an ink pad, it could be just as easy, or you could take a, any stamp that you have and take a Q-tip 
wipe it onto the stamp or onto the pad, and then rub it onto the lesion. Let it sit there and dry for a minute. Um, and then you're going to come back behind it and very carefully take the mineral oil, which I have here, take a few drops on it, put it onto the lesion. Um, I would suggest that you wear gloves doing this because it can be, you don't want to transmit scabies other places on the body or to anyone else in your household. And then you'll take a glass slide uh, like I have here and you will scrape onto the lesion and put it onto the slide. If you do have a glass slide cover, you can place that on and then you would take this and put it under the microscope and view. Um, you know, what you're going to be looking for is the fecal matter left behind from scabies as well as the uh, scabies mites themselves. You can Google these images online. I do, because um, I'm in a hurry today, this is a picture of a, a scabies mite. I know it's not very clear to you, uh, but you can see here the fecal matter that's left behind from the scabies and or that could be skin that's uh, stained and then the actual mite itself will um, show and there's I mean there's a number of different ways these can look I would recommend that you take a look on Google Images for that um, picture but very quickly and this is not this is a hit or miss thing this is not a hundred percent guarantee that you're going to be able to see these mites under the microscope on the other hand uh, I would suggest you keep trying, if you're fairly certain you have it, that you keep trying until you find some. Um, there will be a little pain and discomfort with the, with the scraping, uh, but I think it's worth it in the long run to know, you know what, it ha what you have and what you're dealing with. Um, certainly, you're welcome to leave us feedback here on the video. Again, my name is Bill Carlson. I'm the host of Talk Naturally, and we're here to help any way that we can. Uh, hope this has been helpful. Thank you.